Hello everyone and welcome to the 34th episode of the Kyoki Puro Logo to Global series here on the channel as it is the Tsunami Foundation Project Show, maybe the last one we'll ever do as uh, you know we've had, the, this is twice now, we've had a free show we actually fucked up last year's and didn't make it a free show we still had 118 people, uh, of course the year before that uh, the free show was 129 people as uh, we have a planned attendance of 228 people. We have hit over 200 people thanks to the free show. That's going to be crazy. Uh, obviously, that's a lot of a lot of new eyes on the project. So that's huge for us. Uh, we do have a backstage incident before we get into the show. Which is Sumaki Samora. Who helped create a fun and relaxed atmosphere backstage. After finding a discarded karaoke machine. And starting an impromptu pre-show competition. His metal, metal, medley of power ballads. I apparently stole the show as, hell yeah, Sumaki Samora is the goddamn man, I'm, what a champion, that is a champion thing to do, and that is some king shit if I've ever heard of, as uh, this show, the Tsunami Foundation Project show, double death matches, we have two death matches in the opener, and the, uh, were really just the undercard in general, uh, we have Ant-Man Aztec Prince, Tag team matchup of Nami Genda and White Angel Legion of Love taking on Waiko of Kaito Doe and Yuta Asano. In the main event, in a Kyoki Puro title matchup, Sumaki Samoa taking on Edo Phoenix 4. That should be a banger, of course. As we will start from the bottom up. Why, might as well, you know, we, we might as well start with the bottom up as Sumaki Samoa. Or uh, might as well start from the top, from the bottom rather, as uh, we'll go back to our roots as Sumaki Samoa. Edo Phoenix 4, this match is going to be fucking crazy, as we all expect it to be. Make it high spots, as I just to, you know, kind of see what they've done in the past. Singles-wise, they've only had one singles match. It was last year in June at the Super Show Destruction when Simarik Samara defeated Edo Phoenix 4 to win the Kyoki Pure title. That has been the only one-on-one -on -one matchup they've had. That was a 54. This is going to probably be close to the 60s now. Uh, this is going to be crazy. We're going to have Simak Samora win. Keep that title around his waist. As we will. Uh, we'll just have it be this. No interference, nothing like that. We'll make it 12 minutes. Forgot to add the belt on the line. There we go. Awesome. As then, uh, Waiko. Legion of Love. Which, uh, my god. Uh, these, two, <laughs> these two stables... Have been intertwined. Even when we had the Legion of Love disband, basically, is uh, the team of uh, White Angel in Umihara. Still, now begin the White Angel. They're doing their thing. As history-wise, they've only had, uh, they've never had a two v two matchup. So that's uh, we're in uncharted territory here. As the Legion of Love are gonna get the win. They're going to beat him, uh, which is going to be awesome. We'll just keep it at 10 minutes. Nami Ginda is going to get the pinfall win over Yuta. As, uh, so basically, what we're going to have is interference. Actually, a uh, botched interference from uh, Akikimiyo as she's going to accidentally fuck over that. As uh, we'll keep it regular. Sounds like a plan to me. Titles are changing hands. As I forgot for the uh, post match, Diaji Kanoe is going to run out and attack Sumaki Samora. Uh, let's see. Uh, fighting. Selling. G. No way. Some more. Perfect. I will have my uh, major defeat. Major success. Cool. Five minutes might be a little too long. That seems like a bit of a crazy ass fucking beat down. Uh, three minutes is more like it. For the uh, you know Aztec Prince and Ant Man matchup, which these two, no fucking strangers to each other. Yeah, it's just yes yeah, again. I mean, the amount of times they have faced off against each other, 
one on one. So this is going to be the fifth time, or actually uh, sixth time. So Ant Man has won three times. Aztec Prince has won twice. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Aztec Prince is going to win. 50 50 booking, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. We'll have a wild brawl. I think that will, if that can work. Take a look at Ant Man's brawling. Yeah, I mean that just to kind of change it up a little bit. Give him eleven minutes. Cool. And then the two death matches. Two death matches. Uh, Asa two and Carlos Gonzalez, which is actually going to be really fucking good. Uh, that's that's going to be one of the uh, better death matches we've had in a hot minute, thanks to really a lot of our death match guys leaving. <laughs> Looking at uh, Kawamura and fucking Kimi Kawano, but. Uh, you know, we've have uh, duct taped this fucking heart of the, the deathmatch guys together as much as we can. We'll give him a six minute match. S2 is going to get the win though. Because he's acid fucking two. Hell yeah. And then the uh, obviously it's going to be Kanoe as he's going to take on Kenji Akamatsui. So the uh, really no dark agents matches. You know, nobody, uh, you know. They are getting the night off. Good for them. As, uh, we don't really need them. Bump that down to five minutes. So Kanoe, of course, is going to get the win. Hell yeah. Oh, and... Man. Perfect. Obviously, book analysis is probably going to be... Yeah. The, the, death, uh, the death match penalty, as always. We'll save it, I don't know, just in case something gets fucked up. We'll run the show. So yeah, this gets a 22. Oh, Kanoe broke his ribs. That's tough. They didn't click, and he was off his game. What a shit show. Uh, but uh, the Savage Cradle DDT gets the win for Taji Kanoe. As, uh, got the show off to strong start somehow with a 22. That's, yeah. That ain't good. As this, man. Yeah, I figure this would... Bringing up a lot. Acid 2 getting the deathmatch win over Carlos Gonzalez. The Acid Rain Bomb at 552. Yeah, Acid 2 with a 46 41 with Carlos Gonzalez. God bless Acid 2. This man is the embodiment of Kyoki Puro. As a Sumaki Samora. But, and then we got a string bicep from Ant Man. Just this is the injury bug right now in front of a free audience. It's Acid Prince with the triple power bomb over Ant Man in 11 27. 54 for Ant Man, 53 for Aztec Prince. So I got a 49 in general, and I wish, was hoping for a 50 or, or higher, but we'll take it. At least the string bicep Ant Man should be able to perform at the next show. Oh, but Ant uh, Aztec Prince got some heat because he felt like it, the mistake caused uh, Ant Man to get hurt. So yeah, got some heat between the two now. How fun is the tag team title matchup of Waiko and the Legion of Love? Is Nami Gendo White Angel get the win? As uh, Nami Gendo with a flying double knee. After Agikimiya blew the spot and fucked over uh, Yuta and Sano instead of Nami Genda. As, uh, perfect, perfect stuff there. Yuta, Sano, and Keita Doan, they have been improving drastically. As, uh, they've done a great job. And that tag team division is, is shaping up, finally. It's, it's taken a good long time, but it's it's finally happened. They're doing a great job. And as we have new champions in uh, White Angel and Nami Genda. Hell yeah. Main event gets a 60. Sumac some more with the Shooting Star Press in 1226. As that is defense number 2 of his uh, second reign now. So yeah, 59 for Sumac some more. 52 for Edo Phoenix 4. Gets a 60 in general. Just a great fucking match. Great main event. As this actually does really well. Wow. As uh, Taji Kanoe attacking Sumac some more post-match. Taking him out. Laying him out with a Savage Cradle DDT. On the championship belt. Like that's... Uh, a deadly fucking, deadly finish there, right on top of the championship belt, as he stands up in him, and he just kind of whips it around his head like it's a fucking chain. So then, uh, you know, we know where we're going, as far as Sanji Kanoe and Sumek Sumar, but will it happen at the next show because of the broken ribs, or will we have to wait until something later on? We shall see. <laughs> as, uh, I'm sure the show actually did really well. At 54, yeah, we'll gladly take that. Obviously, we're going to give... Good shout to Sumek Samara. You know, that's a two. He did a great fucking job in his match. And then, as far as 
who we want next. You know, Nami didn't. Nami Ginda did a great job uh, with her match. Either things for did a great job as, uh, in the main event. I think we're gonna give it to her. Let's uh, give her a hug. Hell yeah! Awesome stuff there. It's a great little show. You know, obviously with uh, it being free. You know, are we gonna get more as far as building up wise for the, the, the you know our promotion or whatnot for Kyoki Puro? So, so, fingers crossed. But as far as money making goes, obviously we're going to be a bit on the uh, the losing side of things. So as we'll just kind of see what happened. Because we made $300 last month. I, I think it's going to go... It, it'll probably lose about 1000 if I had to say. Just look at the fight. Yeah, we're going to make about 4446 off of sponsorship. So actually, we might break even because of that. Because our sponsors... Having 446, I mean, we did 4,273 last uh, month, and we broke even with that. So it's going to be really close, though. Fingers fucking crossed. As that will do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Happy holidays, everyone. As, uh, you, you know, obviously this being on Wednesday because of, you know, Christmas Eve is on that Thursday. Want to make sure it's not on a holiday and whatnot. But, you know, again, as I, and if you didn't see uh, my little happy holiday spiel that I did at the uh, CWA Real World Draft uh, series going on, if you're just following this series. And, you know, this has been a, a horrendous year as far as, uh, you know, with the COVID-19, as uh, hopefully you can spend uh, the holidays with your loved ones and the ones that care about you, and hopefully that uh, you can, you know, because even there's a lot of people, I, I know uh, one of uh, Madison's friends has COVID, so she isn't able to spend the holidays with her family and whatnot, so that's, very shitty, as, uh, you know, hopefully, if that does, if that, if you're one of those people who can't spend the holidays with your loved ones, hopefully you can find, uh, once that you're, you're free, you're in the clear, you're ready to spend time with them, that, uh, you can, at, uh, even New Year's Eve, or even New Year's, uh, just something to kind of bond together, because this has been a horrendous year, hopefully the, uh, the worst is behind us, hopefully we can march forward, and, uh, into, the 2021 and without COVID-19, uh, hopefully by the end of 2021, because I don't think it's going away anytime soon, uh, at least in America, uh, hopefully you're in a country that uh, uh, <laughs> could understand and understood the uh, the gratification and the, the seriousness of the COVID-19, uh, you know, the, the virus and the pandemic. Hopefully you're you know, somewhere in New Zealand or somewhere like that where you don't even need the vaccine because you've already just... Can, you've been able to overcome the uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you all for watching. Happy holidays again, as we will catch you next time for more Kyoki Puro. The last Kyoki Puro of 2020 will be next week. I mean, that's crazy. We have come so far with Kyoki Puro. 